Hey folks, I'm Vixen today we are going to play Outward, a game by Nine Dot Studios. So it's a game I've been following since the Kickstarter, and it is an RPG of which you are not the hero, and that fact alone just makes me want to play it. So we are going to begin with the tutorial and we'll see how things are going to roll for us. It is uh, said to be uh, quite hard if you are not uh, planning well, so we might die a bit. So let's just, let's just begin. And I shall go for this. So we need to uh, manage plenty of needs, probably uh, Angus, uh, so we'll probably need to rest as well. We'll have a limited inventory and plenty of little things like this which are going to make you feel like you are really planning for an adventure. So let's just hit space and see what we're going to be able to do. So we begin with uh, this little character and... Uh, okay, we can uh, fight. Can I just go with a combo? Yes, there is a combo like this. Uh, let's just take a look. I can parry as well, and I can go and be a bit still see. Let's pick up things. Uh, so, we've got a Nomad backpack here. If I remember right, um, backpacks were supposed to uh, make you less efficient in combat, because, you know, it's a lot more difficult to fight with one of them. And what is this little thing here? Welcome to Hatworld's tutorial. Follow the red line to learn about the game mechanics. And you can by bypass parts of the tutorial by not following the red line. Okay, we'll try to follow. And is there more? I'm going to check something quickly. Can I open the door? Nah. Alright, uh, let's see. A few more uh, things here to learn, probably. Uh, head down to learn about basic combat. Will do. So we've got uh, a dummy over there, it seems. Or is it? I don't know. We'll see. So we'll press uh, tab to lock, it seems. Okay, it is locked. So we're going to be able to retreat around our enemies, but in the way of Dark Souls. Okay. And we can obviously slash a bit. Okay, it is not the mate, it's just a regular NPC. Is there any kind of stamina? I think there is a little bit of stamina on the yellow bar on the on the left. So you cannot Did it die a bit? I don't know, it might be. Can I kick or something? I can protect myself. I cannot charge my attack. I've got what I think uh, is a special ability. Rage boon is required. What else do we have? Okay, I need to use combos to make it work. And it was necessary for me to go for the rage thing to make the attack with the axe thing on the on the shortcut bar. I've got also a fireball and uh, probably an item on the on the force uh, dot. Okay. So let's see what else they have for me. So tab to lock and tab to remove the lock. Okay, it's fairly easy. Let's go and, and follow the line. They might give me more infos. There is another one here. What shall I do with this? Uh, perform attack with left mouse button and a special attack with uh, mouse button 3. Oh, okay, it might be uh, the wheel. Okay, let's keep going. We'll see, I'm going to lock the guy and we'll try. So I've got my basic attack here, and if I press the wheel I'm doing that. So I'm going to go for slashing attacks with the red left click, and for piercing attack with the middle click. Okay, uh, so let's go forward and see if we can learn more things. Can I get a bit closer to the guy? No, I cannot. At least we'll see well around us uh, when surrounded in battle. What shall we learn? Can I break stuff? Nah, not here at least. Oh, somebody's going to fight me, it seems. So, blocking with the right mouse button. Uh, prevent first damage from a strike and reduce how much you would uh, be knocked back. Uh, shield consumes less stamina than blocking when blocking and can block arrows. Okay, so it's obviously better to, get to have a shield than just pairing with your... Oh, I think there might be some here. Alright, so I've got now one and I can actually block things with it. I could have tried without it first, but 
Okay, so that guy he has a mace, which is perfect to fight me. But it seems I'm blocking fairly well with this thing. Oh, there is um, some kind of status bar for the shield on the, the middle, uh, on the bottom of the screen, uh, in the middle. I can show you how much time your shield can handle this. I believe if he was to attack more, I might be uh, able to see what's going to look like when you get a stand. Come on, just a few more. Alright. Can I make an attack with my shield? No, I cannot. I wonder if there is a way to... Yes, I can roll as well. But it's difficult with the backpack. I can actually drop the backpack if I want to. To be more efficient in combat. Okay, so let's see if I can defeat that guy. Come on. Oh, I've got no more stamina. I think I've been taking too many hits. Okay, he's done. Uh, can I loot the guy? No, probably not. Uh, let's keep going. So it feels like the stamina is just um, coming back very slowly, so you need to be very careful. You cannot uh, make a fight last too long. So evade attack by dodging with space. So it just consume a fair amount of stamina, so you don't want to roll too much, it seems. You can also move away from attacks by holding left, shift and sprint. Okay. So let's take a look at this. So I'm moving a lot less uh, swiftly when I'm not... when I'm um, raising my shield. Okay, I can roll, but I do not want to roll toward him. At least not too much. Okay, nice, let's keep going. I could just kill him just in case. Uh, let's see. I would be better just... Nah, too far. I don't know if it is a bit stronger than the previous one, but it seems his else is not decreasing as fast. And oh, it's just gener generating too fast. Let's keep going. What do we have in this a little cart? I could also just use fireballs. Ah, it's not a fireball. It is something from close. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see what you can find in the next room. It's quite important to go for this tutorial because I think we uh, would die probably fairly quickly if we are not to go through it. So what do we have here? There is quite a bunch of different roads. Uh, proceed up the stairs to learn about skills. Okay, I think I've been testing these already a bit, but still, let's go. So what do we have here? Quick slot, so I can actually open the menu with I. And I've got quite a few things here. Uh, let's see. We've got our backpack, our pockets, and our current equipment. equipment. Alright. Let's keep going. We've got our stats here. Attack, defense, and misc. Alright. Can I get... Uh, there is no tooltip to see what these things are about. Or at least maybe they will explain later on. Uh, oh, maybe with T I can get a bunch of helps. On here. Oh, oh, now I understand. These, uh, we just need to read the uh, icons. So, so physical, impact, uh, projection, and so on. Okay, it's fairly clear. Good, let's keep going. Get our earth stamina, mana, our, our needs food, drink, sleep. Okay, temperature is also a parameter we need to, um, to keep in our mind. So it will probably depend on what we are going to wear. Uh, what is this? Oh, ne negative and positive effect. All right. We've got recipes so we can craft stuff whenever we need to. Plank shield, primitive clubs. There's 
interesting. I think we might be able to find more recipes as we progress. All right, let's keep going. Uh, we've got also, yes, our quick slots here. So I've got uh, slots which are going to be uh, closer to my movement keys. And also, yeah, these, like in uh, any MMORPG. What does the we have? We have, we have all our skills plus their descriptions. So the thing with the... Uh, the fire was a sigil of fire and uh, it's going to create a magic circle on the ground certain skills have additional effect when cast within this circle oh it's cool uh, then we've got enrage which has a very long cooldown which i'm going to keep uh, to recover soon so using this skill burns a bit of your maximum health until the next time you sleep oh so you need to be careful when you use that i like when there is uh, interesting consequences to skills and spells it's going to make things more interesting uh, so grant, grant the rage boon uh, which increase the impact of your attacks and certain skills require it so predator leap require rage boon and melee weapon jumping attack treat a shockwave upon landing with iron button damage require the rage boon okay and the last one is spark it's a tiny fire explosion that deal negligible damage, but can be used in combination with other gr spell for greater effect. Oh, and I can use it to uh, light campfire. Nice. I don't need any matches anymore. Uh, cool. Uh, I would definitely like to need this kind of thing. Uh, oh, we've got more things. So we've got passive skills and cosmetic skills. I don't know what these could be, but maybe we can turn yourself into uh, some other creature or something and uh, make them think that, that you are one of them. I don't know. It would be nice. Okay, so what do we have here? We've got astral potions here. Let's pick them all. And also a bunch of firestones. So what do we have here? So most spells require items in your inventory or an effect active on you. Take some firestone on the table so you can cast fire sigil. Take astral potion to replenish your mana. Okay, nice. It's very re reminiscent, uh, reminiscent of EverQuest when you were in need of what was it? I think there was a component to to summon your um, your elementals, which was uh, important together. Uh, first, put the spark and fire sigil skills in your quick slots. Uh, I think they are already there, yes. Um, plus there is a little number down there to show you how much time you can cast it. And be certain to have Firestone in your inventory. You cast a Fire Sigil, then you inspa use Spark while standing. Yes, okay, let's do that. So I believe maybe the Spark I was able to cast uh, is going to transform into something else when I'm going to cast it uh, within the Circle of Fire. Let's just uh, target my... Uh, my target and uh, we'll cast a sigil of fire first all right very nice and then we'll go and try to uh, use a spark of fire and it is a fireball can i go and cast another one probably yes and another one to finish the beasts okay done very nice i kind of like it it's really really cool uh, let's keep going and do i have more things to do here Probably not. Let's keep following this uh, line of fire. It is nice to see a tutorial which is going to give you the time to assimilate everything. And let's see what else there is. Uh, physical skill often require you to build a specific weapon type or to have a status effect active on you, such as Rage Boon. So we're going to be able to uh, try the skill I've been trying before. <laughs> it's a bit. Anyway. Um, Assign and rage and put a leap to your quick slots. It was already done. So I need to use uh, a rage first and then I will go for a uh, predator leap. So let's go for this and then we'll use this to kill the. Okay, not, maybe not to kill, but I will finish him, that's all. Okay, cool. I could actually uh, shoot my weapons so I will maybe move faster. What are these weapons? Oh, nice. A spear. A maze. Can I get a better shield? Do we have other other things? A round shield. Okay, uh, there's another one here. I cannot pick up the shield. It's a metal shield. It's a shame it would have been nice. Meanwhile, let's just take a look and see what we can 
Oh, it's probably pretty heavy here. Um, let's go and equip a spear. I'm curious. It's probably a good weapon to have in such a game because you might want to keep your enemy f afar, uh, pr pretty far from yourself. Okay, nice. What is a special attack? Yes, fairly cool. I cannot use a shield when I've got this, so there is a drawback. And now let's go and try other weapons. I've been trying the, the weapon, uh, the, the sword. I'm going to try the, um, the mace now. I might want to equip a shield as well. Okay, the moveset seems to be a little bit slower than the sword, but seems to uh, slash a bit wider. And there is also that thing, which is a lot slower, but seems to do a lot of damage. Look, let's, yes, not run around with my weapons uh, and cheat. And let's keep going. We've got uh, one of these. All right, let's continue. So what are we to find here? I should maybe not run too much because I'm going to burn my stamina. What do I have here? There's plenty of passage I want to explore, but I'll probably just uh, learn about these later on. Uh, read about negative effect. What do we have here? Uh, use this elevator to reach the section on negative uh, status effect. Okay, will do. Okay, so it's a fairly long tutorial, huh? Alright, so what do we have here? Probably poison. Uh, status effects are displayed at the bottom left of the screen. Uh, so it might be next to rage and stuff. Removing negative effect is important between battle. For example, bleeding deal damage over time and is healed with bandages. So what shall we find here? Is it poison? I'm going to just check. There is a few things here. Antidotes might be handy. And bandages. So I'm going to uh, be poison and I'm going to be bleeding. <laughs> so let's begin by... Oh, this is bleeding. And I think... Do I bleed right now? Let's go. Yes, I do bleed now. So I should go here and use one of these bandages to fix myself. Okay, it seems the effect has been removed. What is this plus thing? Uh, let's see, there is a panel where I can actually see my positive and ne negative effects. So I've got a bandages, uh, which, which is going to maybe recover a bit of my health, it seems. And I've got rage, which is still on. Let's see, and what I should do is equip a bit of poison things, uh, uh, antidote, so I can actually uh, heal myself quickly. No, I don't want to drop this. I want to do it to equip it in my... Uh, maybe it's not possible. Anyway, let's just get poisoned for the sake of it. Am I poisoned? Yes, I am poisoned. So I'm going to gradually lose else, and so I should drink one of these. So everything is kind of logical right now. Let's keep going. I don't want to get more uh, poison or more uh, bleeding effect on my character. All right. Let's see what we're going to find on this level. Proceed to learn about food and drink, uh, which are two of the character need. Okay, we'll follow the line. It is the line we need to follow, yes. What is this thing on the list over there? Don't know what I can do about it. But I am intrigued. I would like to know what it is about. Maybe I could see it in my effect thing. Let me not. Maybe I'm too heavy. Oh, I need to sleep maybe. Maybe it's a bed. It's definitely possible. Okay, so what do we have here? Let's go and read the panel before I do anything stupid. Uh, appease your thirst and hunger, or you will pass out. Animals and plants provide food, while bodies of water can quench your thirst. Though, you will need a water skin to carry water with you. Okay, so we'll need to find one. So first thing first, let's pick up this, uh, these two water skin. And let's try to fill it. Uh, so gather clean water. We can begin by drinking. Alright. And then we'll gather a bit of water. And we'll get a, gather a bit more. Are we done? I'm not sure how filled these are. Completely? Okay, it's all fine. 
Now we've got plenty of food around it seems. Can I break these? Uh, is a... Can gather a gabbery. Nice, plus it's taking a bit of time, so it's more logical. This is not something we can do in fight or something like that. Alright. What else do they have for me here? There is a bit of fish on the... Oh, we've got uh, soothing tea. After all the poison and, and bleeding stuff, it's a good thing they thought about bringing me some some sweet. Uh, so let's drink one of these, even though they did not ask for it. Uh, take hours after digging this to fully recover from cold. Oh, it's going to cure common cold. Am I cold? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Let's eat one of these. I'm probably starving. Alright. Uh, shall I actually break some of these crates to see if there is anything to pick up? Seems not to be possible. Nah, I will just explore another time. There's more berries to be picked up. And we need to keep following this road. So what do we have here? Cook your meat and boil your water so, so as not to become ill. I might have failed to do that. Uh, it takes a long time to recover from illness, though medical tea can help. So let's see. Uh, read about crafting and campfire. To cook in the wild, you must craft campfire kits. Uh, gather three wood from the nearby tree, enter your menu with I, and go to the crafting tab to and select a campfire kit. Okay, so we'll do that. Let's go to our menu, let's go to crafting. Uh, what was uh, it? was probably that. And first, maybe I should try to pick up uh, some of these. Yes. Why should I find some? Oh, can just gather it. There's a nearby tree. Alright. And then we'll craft it. Uh, so primitive. Um, campfire kit. Good. Let's go and craft. Uh, there is some ingredient I might be able to add now. Anyway, let's just craft. Now I've got something to make a camp. And do I do it right away or do I uh, maybe. Oh, here we, go. here we go. Once you have a campfire kit, go to your inventory and use it. You can deploy. You can then deploy the campfire on the ground. If you have flint and steel in your inventory, interact with the campfire to lit it. Or I could use my spell as well. So let's just uh, begin by doing that. I believe these are very important mechanics for the game. Uh, deploy. Oh, nice, you can choose where you deploy it. I like it. Let's just deploy it here. And we'll try to do without the flint. I'm going to try to use my uh, spell to lit it. Nice. It's real cool. Uh, we've got plenty of other things. I will just... Uh, is there more I need to do about this? Not yet. But I've got... Uh, let's see, a campfire kit. A bit of flint and steel. Alright, and I've got also a cooking pot. Nice. Can I just put it on this? Uh, let's see. I'm going to try. I can deploy this. Yes, it seems fine by me. Maybe I'm going too fast. Let's just take a look at what they are saying on the next panel here. Cooking with a single ingredient only require a lit campfire. Recipes with multiple ingredients require a kitchen or a cooking pot deploy on the fire. You can use a cooking pot in your inventory and place it on the campfire on a campfire. Okay. Now let's see, do I have anything to cook? I've got berries, but maybe it's not going to be sufficient. Uh, let's see. Uh, what if I can do gabberry jam? But I'm missing ingredient. I'm lacking two of these. Ah, not cool. I can also do meat stew, but I'm lacking probably the meat. And okay, I cannot do much right now. Can I boil water? <laughs> it's something I should be able to do, I expect. Uh, I don't know the recipe, maybe. <laughs> I don't. Okay, uh, let's just disassemble all of these. So we'll recover everything. And I'm going to turn off the fire. Alright. I can still let it back, which is cool. And what do we have here? Seaweed. 
All right, we've got a bit of fish, a bit of salt, and a few recipes. Okay, uh, let's see. I've got the kitchen here, but I've got also a bit of thing too. Do I need to leave the kitchen? I think I might. And we can go and make travel ration. We need two trouts and a little bit of salt. They're going to give us three travel ration. I'm going to do that. Okay, nice. So can I actually rest by the fire? I wonder. I'm going to lead the campfire with my flint and, and stone. And we're going to use the campfire. Oh, I can only cook. I am lacking some elements to actually sleep. Okay, nice. Let's keep going. I'm going to keep following this, this red line. Always tempting. Uh, proceed down to learn about managing your temperature in extreme climates. So, okay, so we might expect a little bit of cold and a little bit of, of two, of lava maybe. Yes, we begin with that. So it's pretty warm here and it seems as a UI is showing me that uh, right now on the bottom left. So let's m learn more about this. In hot climates, drink water and wear clothing till out to protect against the sun. Heavy armor rarely protect against the heat, though. <laughs> Obviously. Skin. Okay, so here I need to really drop a bunch of things because I've got too many things here. Alright, don't need two shields either. Oh, three shields. Don't need uh, that many mace. Uh, okay, all fine. Let's go and switch my uh, outfit. I've got a uh, dark walker attire, which seems to be um, taking some damage. I will need to repair it at some point, I believe. And I've got my desert tunic here, and I could switch my boots for desert boots as well. Nice. And what shall I go for? I've got a bit of water, but I will probably need to... Um, okay, I will drink it, but I would have probably been better boiling it before. Is there a more little thing I can actually uh, discover here? Not too much, let's keep going. We are going to reach a place which is going to be a lot colder, so my outfit is not going to be good. In cold climate, campfire and torch can warm you up. Padded and fill in clothes also protect against cold, so you need to plan your trips if you are going somewhere cold or very, very um, hot. So you can take an, an extra... Um, extra outfit for when it is necessary. Okay, let's switch to something a little bit more efficient. So we'll go for a fur armor, uh, fur boots, and we've got also a fur helmet. And I could actually probably lit a torch as well. Let's take a look. So what if I want to make a makeshift, tor a makeshift torch? I need a uh, linen cloth and wood. I don't have any of these. Okay, let's keep going. I could also do a fire. And it would be pretty sufficient to keep us warm, but we've been doing that already, so I'm going to trust them on this. Okay, what shall we discover now? Other items can help manage your temperature, such as potion, tent, or meals. You can also seek shelter underground, where the temperature is usually moderate. Good to know, but I expect other thing to be underground. Probably Delta thing. Cool statues. Especially of the, the one on the right. Um, so what do we have here? Inventory management. I've been learning a bit, a bit about that already. So proceed to learn about managing your inventory capacity. What shall we find here? There is a door. Is it a door? I cannot climb here. I can roll, but I cannot climb. Uh, what do we have here? It is the same backpack I've got already. Wait, I've got two backpacks in my... <laughs> Let's take a look. Yes, I've got a backpack in my backpack. Why? Oh, yes. Why not? So lantern in your backpack. Uh, and not in your pouch. 
Uh, earn from your backpack. Oh, this is cool. Bring your offhand for a shield or a 200 weapon. Open and close and turn with a V. Okay, we shall do that. Let's take a look. Wait a sec, there is something wrong. I do, do not have any lantern, maybe. Oh, I need to pick them up. Obviously. They've got plenty of cool weapons, but they are fairly heavy. Now I can see these lanterns, but I... Oh! Yes, yeah, I know. I understand now. V is for litting or unlitting the lantern, if you want to be maybe more... Still see. Maybe this outfit is a bit too much right now. Alright, and maybe the third one was better. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so now that I've got all of these things, I could equip the wolf clamor to see how it is working. Okay, there is no no shield with this. And I should also drop a bunch of things to make me uh, more likely to continue as I'm a little bit too heavy now. Just drop. I could, I'm keeping that, but I don't need two clamors. Let's drop one. Is it better not yet? I've got too many torch. Oh, nice, you can actually drop these to make a bit of light. And... What else do I have? I've got too many backpacks as well. Let's drop these outfits as well. Okay, it's a bit better. Uh, backpacks increase your inventory capacity, but usually slow down your dodge. You can drop your backpack by uh, with B before combat, then pick it up, pick it, pick it back up after the fight has ended. Good, good idea. Oh, is there something I missed here? That was just a corner. So what shall we do? Hey, buddy, let's drop my backpack right away. Oh, it's taking a bit of time. Anyway, let's see. I'm almost dead. Oh, wait a sec. Hopefully I've got a good reach with that. But I need to bandage myself because I'm kind of dying. Oh, wait a sec, I need to... Oh, I can loot the guy as well. Yeah, the bunch of arrows. Oh, and spike. Oh, it seems to be interesting. Let's just begin by picking up my backpack uh, first. I can open it or equip it. It's nice. I mean, I can actually pick up things from my backpack without picking picking this backpack back. Uh, so I was speaking about bandages. Okay, am I resting a bit? I think I uh, do. I'm going to also be uh, take one of these travel ration. Seems it's not going to kill me much. Uh, let's take a look. I need these arrows because I expect the bow to be very, very useful. Uh, so what are these spike arrows? Uh, this might be useful traps, so I might want to move it to my pocket. And the machete, I could try it. It's probably a little bit faster than what I've got currently. Okay, so let's go and now I could actually try to read these before uh, getting in danger. So even with a backpack, you cannot take all of the items you will find. Equipment is quite heavy and even coin I've, I've weight. Uh, item durability. Equipment break during combat, becoming less effective. Lantern burns out while they are lit. Can I not unlit it here? Uh, and can be refilled by using crafting uh, Food rot with time, and even when you are resting or traveling to another region. Okay, there is plenty of things to take in account. I'm going to remove this land. Oh, I don't care. Let's just leave it back. This is tutorial after all. We cannot take everything, but it seems I want to take everything here. So let's just pick it up. Oh, look at these. This Paladin Spear make me think a lot about uh, the River. We'll try these. I'm going to be very, very heavy, but it will uh, be a good occasion to try to see how fast I'm moving when I'm too heavy. I'm barely moving. I'm really too heavy right now. 
Come on, you can do it. We are almost there. <laughs> At least we are moving, which is not too bad. I need to check all uh, heavy we are. So. Can you rotate, please? Okay. Anyway, uh, let's see what we have in our inventory. Pathfinder armor. Okay, looks fairly nice. Let's drop this. We'll try also the black plate armor. Okay, a bit more uh, fitting, maybe? I don't know. Both are cool. Let's see the palladium spear. Oh, it is a spear. I thought it was a sword at first. I should have read it better. Uh, we've got a marble morning star. Yes, we need to go with the spear. We're going to drop the rest. Uh, do we have anything else to uh, try? There is a grand axe here. Which seems to be quite efficient as well. Let's we'll just drop the basic spear. We'll drop... Let's we'll just drop the shield. The mace. The other mace. The machete. Too many things. Dark walker attire. That neck. I'm going to fill the ground with these uh, goods. Okay, we are back to, to normal. Kind of. Alright, let's keep going. You notice that I kept um, <laughs> the, the, the um, precious stone, though. Oh, plenty of money. I'm still overweight. Uh, let's just see how much... Oh, no, it's all fine. Let's keep going. Is there more to be uh, found here? Not too much, but this was a very interesting room, after all. Let's keep going. Let's keep my spear at rest. Um, it seems to be a fairly deadly... Uh, oh, it's still cool. The way the carpet is... It's really, really cool. Um, proceed forward to learn about resting. Sleep is another of your character need. I expect it to be the case. Uh, what do we have here? We've got... A luxury tent and a simple tent. After you finish resting, enemy can ambush you. Uh, guarding lowers the chance that this occur. With, where you decide to rest also impacts how likely it is uh, you will be attacked. Okay. What else do we have here? Sleeping as a in, um, in an inn or in a tent. Remove ten. Uh, Tiredness and restore health. It also uh, restore maximum health, which is lowered by taking damage, and maximum stamina, which is lowered by performing strenuous action. Strenuous action. Uh, repairing restores the durability of your weapon and armor. Note that only your currently equipped item is re will be repaired. Okay, so we can choose when we are going to rest if we want to actually. What's going on here? If you want to repair things or uh, guard. Okay, let's see if we can rest here. I'm going to deploy this. Like this. Alright, nice. I love the way the tent just deploy. And we're going to use it. For a little bit of sleep. Uh, so we'll... Uh, let's see, I've got... How many points do I have? Oh, okay. So I'm going to sleep uh, five hours. I don't know. Oh, there is a percent of, ch of chance that I'm going to be ambushed. We'll spend a bit of time to repair things. All right. Maybe not that much. So the more you rest, the more things you need. Wait a sec. Do I sleep enough or do I, do I oversleep right now? I've got no idea what I'm doing. Uh, sleep illus tiredness, max health and stamina, but reduce your max mana. So I believe if I sleep too much, I'm going to reduce my max mana. So yeah, I just want to go uh, just enough light. I don't know. 
let's go for five and we'll see what's going to happen. Must be hours. Are we going to be ambushed? I don't think it should be the case because we've got no percentage of ambush, which was written. Okay, let's see. Seems we are fine for today. Let's just recover the tent. Alright. Let's climb. Do we need to climb up there? I think I might. I'm not sure where I should go. Oh, there is a tooltip here. Uh, use the door to exit the trial and return to the main menu. Is there more to be discovered? I wonder. Uh, we've been learning quite a bit. I think um, now it is time to go and discover the, the real world, kind of. So let's leave the trial. Alright. And as we spent quite a lot of time in the tutorial, I think I'm going to do a second video with the beginning of the game. So we'll have uh, learned the, the basic ropes in this video and we'll go for the, for the contact with the world uh, in the second one. So guys, I hope you liked the video. If you do, please leave a like, a comment or subscribe. And if you'd like to support the channel even further, please consider following my referral link to buy your games on the Humble Store. They've got pretty nice price and interesting bundles as well. So with that said, until next time, folks. Happen!